Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong What up though, heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. This is what happened last week on Earth. Let's talk about it, man. First of all, we got to talk about this right here. Mama Rice heist. That's what she did. This is Mama Rice. This is Rashi Rice's mama. Rashi Rice is an NFL football player to play for the Kansas City Chiefs. He got hurt um, last Sunday. And after that, what does mama do? She walking down the hallway and stole a package. Allegedly stole a package off somebody um front porch or front of their door. They call it porch pirates. And look at this, man. That's wrong, man. That's somebody mama. She's somebody mama. Her son is an NFL player. She is disrespecting and, and embarrassing the hell out of this boy, man. She got the jersey on and everything. She took these pictures before the um, you know, before the game or whatever. And just come on, man. This is her walking. This is it's video footage. I think it's from a ring dash, a ring cam, something like that. Mama Rice heist. That's that's bad, man. This is that's so disrespectful. That's embarrassing. That boy, like, he got to be in the locker room, and it, it's gonna start more fights and stuff. Get, people play the dozens. Oh, your mama steal. You know, your mama a thief. Your mama on the news for stealing, stealing and stealing and stealing. That's what your mama do, man. Mama Rice, you wrong for that, man. Embarrassing that boy like that. That boy a rookie, too. That boy a rookie. And he might be, his his, his season might be over with, man. Um, Patrick Mahomes fell on his leg. You know, a freak accident, they call it. Fell on his leg, might have towards MCA, ACL, ADD. I don't know. I, I don't know these letters and numbers and all this stuff to what these people got. Um, but he told something, and it could be for the rest of the year. It could be a damn, it could be forever. He might not play no more. He might not play good no more. She might have messed up. I mean, she messed it up. His his career might be over with or in danger coming back from um, MCL or AC, ACL. I don't know. But, man, come on, man. Mama Rice, you got to do better, man. And you stole it. I'm talking about you walked by it, looked at it, walked by again, came back and got it like Once a thief, always a thief, man. I can't stand stuff like that. But Mama Rice, you wrong. The ball brawl. I don't know if y'all heard about this, but two mothers, they got into it at a um, ball pit. They kids was getting, I don't know what happened. I just know they got into it in front of the kids, and they went all out, punching each other all on the floor, falling, flailing arms and legs, and looked like inflatable tube man. But they did it, man. And people was like, y'all doing this in front of the kids. I'm thinking about what's the scenario of this. What happened? Maybe somebody kid did something to somebody else's kid. Somebody went and told the mama, like, look, Tell your kid to calm down. Don't tell my baby to calm down. I mean, they weren't shaking necks like that because they have the Asian persuasion, it looks like. So, I don't know if the neck rolling came, but it... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Something happened. They said some words in, to each other in a different language, and it went down. Um, y'all got to do better, y'all mothers. What else happened? It happened last week. Bigfoot. Everybody was somebody. Yo, this Bigfoot. There's supposed to be an Oklahoma and Bigfoot out there in these streets, man. We don't know if that's the real Bigfoot. I don't think there is a real Bigfoot. It could. It could not be. You had to take that out, my homie. Two more bottles. But it was a Bigfoot going around, man. Everybody was like, "Yo, is that Bigfoot? Is that Bigfoot down in Oklahoma?" It wound up being a damn prank. Nobody seen the illustrious or the. Well, I keep saying illustrious. The. Everlasting, eluding, or whatever. I need a big word for this Bigfoot. The infamous. The infamous Bigfoot. That wasn't Bigfoot. It looked like the Jack Links, um, what you call it, or Harry and the Hendersons. But the way they had the footage of it, it was like breaking news, new Bigfoot sighting. It was like, I don't know if it was making no sounds, but the camera panned away so fast you couldn't tell that was Bigfoot. Somebody slowed it down and looked at it. That don't look like no Bigfoot. I mean, it do got a Bigfoot face, but. What did Bigfoot really look like? We don't know. So that ain't Bigfoot. But that's what happened last week on Earth. This right here, I call it Charlene. Do we have a case? Y'all know I've been fighting this battle for about two, three weeks, man, with my wife. About the OMG doll girls and all that stuff. You know, the LOL dolls, OMG dolls, and all that. We done went through this. But it's a new case going on right now. It ain't a case. I ain't gonna call it a case, but I want to know, do he have a case? Because... Fashion Nova came out with a BBL Drizzy. And they call it BBL Drizzy. And look at this. 
This is what they selling at Fashion Nova. It could be Fashion Nova for men's. Nova for men's. I don't know what it is, but I want to know do we have a case since um image name and likeness NILs, you know? And I want to ask my wife that. She said he got a case. He can have a case, but he might not. This is definitely 100% Drake. Y'all can see that. This, uh, I mean, that's not Drake, but that's his style. That's his, that's his whole image. I think he had an album came out with his hair looking like that. The same um, bull rats in his hair. He got a, the poppy shirt, you know. But for as the BBL Drizzy, the name, that is uh, Metro Boom. He came out with a beat in a song. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. Y'all know that song, man. That's how you got to do to that song. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. Y'all know what I mean, though. So, they, but they selling it under BBL Drizzy on Fashion Nova or men, Nova Men. So maybe Metro Boomer has a case, and maybe um, Drake might have a case also because they got Poppy. He called himself Champagne Poppy. That's his style. That's his look. And I didn't get the answers I was looking for. I look crazy. My beard look nasty. I need a brush. Where my brush at? I gotta find my brush. Anyway. So we know we've been having that battle for the past couple weeks. Chicken Mac. I don't know if y'all know this, man, but it's a Big Mac coming. It's made out of chicken. A chicken Big Mac on McDonald's. Um, we was debating if we wanted to try this. I'm like, no, I don't want to try this because they got Big Mac sauce on it. It was like, ugh. Big Mac chicken patties on Big Macs with Big Mac sauce? I don't know. Then we came up with our own over here. We was like, we can do that with the fish. A fish Mac. You can have two... Fishes on the Big Macs. Okay, that's all they do at McDonald's, man. They take, um, in, in all these restaurants, they take what they have and they make something new with it. It ain't like they, it was like, hey, bro, what we got? We got some Big Macs, we got some chicken. Just add them to that, man. We sell it that way. They try to, um, make, they try to sell new products with, with old material, basically. And that's what they do. Um, it's, it's smart because you don't have to bring nothing in. You don't have to bring no extra machine to cook nothing, to heat nothing up, fry nothing up. I worked in fast food before, and um, I remember years ago, years ago, I'm talking about like probably 2004. Yeah, that's how long it's been. Since 2004, 2005, something like that. Maybe 02. I don't know what time it was, but I know I've seen people make the, um, the KFC bowl before. You know how they got the um, the bowl with the mashed potatoes, the chicken, the gravy, the corn, and cheese. I seen people do that before they came out with it. You see, it's only it's stuff they got there already. I've seen people literally take that and make that. Probably ten years later, oh, they're making the, the KFC bowl. It's like I seen people do that already. So that's what that's all it is. So this chicken mac. Mm -mm. I don't think I want to try that. I don't want no Big Mac sauce on the chicken. It sounds disgusting. Anyway, Usher strikes again. Last week we talked about Usher feeding cherries, trying to feed cherries to DDG girlfriend Haley Bailey, Holly Berry. I don't know the chick name. Holly, Holly, Haley Bailey. I think that's her name. She, the fish eyed girl from Little Mermaid. She looked like the fish she portrayed to be. Um, should have been flounder instead of being Little Mermaid, but that ain't you no know, here no say. What I'm trying to get the point is that doing this thing, he, he was trying to feed his girl some damn, you know, a cherry, and he took the cherry out of his usher hand like I ain't gonna feed my girl no cherry and fed it to himself. We had a debate about this um last week. Aha. We had a debate about this last week about the same thing. Um. My wife was like, that ain't too, that ain't bad. I, I don't see nothing wrong with him doing that. I'm looking like, I wish you would try that. You can't do that in front of me. You ain't, you, I wish you would hold your mouth open and your head up for a man to feed you a cherry on stage. It's not going down that way. I'll be mugging your head all into the window on the way home. Be like, bitch, you don't try me like this. Chris Brown. No, I'm playing. But, um, and she was like, whatever it was, Megan the Stallion. Doing that at a concert and she was trying to feed you. I'm like, it wouldn't go down that way. I wouldn't allow it to. I wouldn't let no female do that to me. And um, I don't think my wife would do that shit. She would plan it up for the radio or for the show. 
She, I wish she would try me like that. Don't try to feed. And don't you open, don't hold your mouth open and try to catch no damn cherries from another man in the mouth. It ain't going down that way. I definitely wouldn't do that for no woman. But I say he strikes again because, yo, they didn't put out a post. They broke up. Um, dear friends, family, and supporters, whatever. It's, it's reflection. It's much reflection in the heartfelt conversation. Holly and I have decided to go our separate ways. This decision is not easy, but we um believe there's a path for both of us. Blase, blase. They broke up. They broke up like a week later. So, Usher strikes again, man. You need to chill out touching people's wives, Usher. We don't care what you're doing on stage. But we just know you keep touching people's wives, man. So, you. You need to relax with that usher. And that happened last week. They broke up though. That's what I'm saying. They broke up. I don't know if it's because of that, but I know they got a baby and damn, yeah, I need to do better. I'm having babies with people and breaking up. The baby ain't even one years old yet. Y'all already broke up. Relax. You wanted to go to jail, you wanna go home. List. That's what they say in about right now, man, in Florida. In Florida right now, it's a law that you can't be homeless. If you homeless and sleeping outside, you going to jail. So that's crazy. Y'all just be careful, man. Um, it's a sad situation, man. That that they are homeless, but it's homeless people and people going to jail for it. It's like you can't do nothing. That's crazy, man. If you homeless, you can go to jail. So y'all be safe, man. I hate shit like that. That happened last week on Earth. You might die if you eat Cheetos. Not literally, you might die, but Cheetos are, the dye inside of Cheetos are turning rats transparent. They're becoming transparent. So when they asked me about this last night, I, I, I didn't have the, they were looking to me, my co-host was looking at me like, what you mean to turn transparent? I was like, that's what they do, it to turn the rats transparent. The dye inside of Cheetos is turning rats transparent. What color transparent? I said transparent. That's all I need to know. That's, hey, you look it up yourself. I'm the news, not the news information. I can give you the news. I put it out there for you. I, I And that's the info I have for you. The dye from Cheetos turn rats transparent. What else do you need? What else can I give you? Y'all got to do better. Y'all talking about me? I got to do better? That's what my co-host is trying to slander my name. Because I don't say I don't give enough information. They were like, one day. I said it. They said it in the chat too. I said, one day you're going to give us information. I'm like, nah, I'm not. I don't think I am. I'm going to give y'all the news. This is the news. Dye and Cheetos. Turn the rats transparent. What else? I don't know, man. What else y'all need to know? I can't. <clears throat> that happened last week on Earth too. Raccoon zombie, zombie raccoon. Um, it's a flesh-eating parasite. The two people have got, and it's linked to them. Um, raccoons. Some kind of flesh-eating, brain-eating, brain-eating. Um, damn, what do you call it? A brain-eating parasite. It's in your brain. It's linked to raccoons. Two men have got it in California. That's all I know about it. My co-host is on my head again about that. Like, why you don't know about it? I said, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Two people got some damn brain eating shit in their head because of raccoon. I said, I quit the news show. I ain't talk about nothing else. Going. We're going to do a show with no topics next week. I ain't going to bring up nothing. I'm just going to be like, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Let's go. They make me frustrated. Last week on Earth, a special a special place in hell is, is in is for this dude right here, man. He need to be wherever he going at. This dude don't know his name, don't know nothing about him. I just know he attacked this woman, old woman from the back too. Look at him, you can see it. He got a flurry, He's throwing a mean right at this woman. She minding her own business. Come on, bro. Whatever they do to him when he get inside them four walls of prison or jail, he he deserve it. It's going to happen to him because one thing you can't do, you can't mess with kids. You can't mess with old people. This is an old person. It's going to be some thug, some gangster, some killer in there. He didn't murk 32 people. He didn't kill 32 people. Killer. But he love his nana. He going to see that dude and then be like, so you like to mess with old ladies. He's going to have a teardrop. 
You're going to have a skull on his face. You know all of them gangster tattoos, all these bald head gangster prisoners, nose tattoo, rings, horns, bloodied eyes. I love my Nana. And he's going to kill him. Something going to happen to this dude right here. Right here. Something going to happen to him for hitting that old lady. You can't go around messing with old ladies. You got a special place in hell, boy. Um, when, Like I said, when they get you, they're going to get you. I don't know what he's been charged with. I don't know what crimes he committed except hitting this old lady. You can't hit old people. Now, if you at the lottery line, knock her ass. Nah, I'm playing. Because I hate going to the lottery line. I hate going to the gas station and you in there waiting. It's a little old lady in there playing the lottery. That happens every time I go in there. I'll be like, God damn. And I'll be messing. The crazy thing about it. If I see her, if I'm going in the store at the same time she's going in, I hold the door open for her like I always do. If I see somebody, especially an old woman, I hold the door for anybody. Um, I hold, but there's an old lady going in before me. I hold the door open for her. I let her in, then I go in, right? But when she go in, she go straight to the lottery. So I'll be in there like, damn. Now I got to wait for her. I was telling my wife this um, last week. I'm like, yo, I said, man, every time I go to the store, this old lady be up there like the same time I go in there. And I opened up the door for her. Then she get in front of me because I opened up the door. She first. And she was like, well, how about you just, you go in, hold the door for her afterwards. I'm looking like, that's defeating the purpose. That ain't chivalrous enough. You know, I can't do that. I can't go. That, that, that's defeating the purpose. Def opening the door is holding the door open for somebody. If I'm going at the same time, you hold the door, let it go through and blase, blase. But she want me to go in, hold the door for her, like hold it. For her to go through like hold on you go in and hold it let her in when you still be first i'm like that 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 would solve the problem i just can't do it. it it ain't right it don't it don't seem right so i gotta hold the door let her go in first i don't know why but that dude hit an old lady so he going to hell i don't know man that's what i had to say about this conversation right here man we finna have right now i don't know man this woman right here she had a baby um and when she had this baby at the hospital she tested positive for opiates and she said the reason why she had those opiates inside her system was because she had a salad from Costco's that had poppy seed in it right so I'm looking like okay and uh, I don't know what they call it Department of Social Services or something Children's Service Family Service whatever they came to, to take the baby and they didn't, didn't you know get to take the baby they didn't take the baby as you know because she held, she withheld the baby. She was like, I ain't doing that. They try to make her, um, they want to do a survey of the land. They want to come to her house and check out things. And she wouldn't allow them to come into their house for two weeks. And I'm sitting there like, I don't know, man. First of all, I went straight to racial. I went straight to like, yo, would they let a black woman do this? Would they let a black woman keep her baby and not let them allow her to come in their house? Would they not take that baby instantly if they found some something in that baby's system? Upon further research, I found out in the state of California, you got to take more than one test. You can't just have a test and they take you like, well, test positive and they take your baby. So that took the, the racial element out of it. Then the further I thought about it, I was like, yo, if that was me, I don't think I let nobody inside of my house either. Especially if I ain't do shit. I'd be like, man, I ain't take, this is a poppy seed, whatever. I got, I got, you're not going to take my baby from a mistake. And I'm thinking like, only mistake I think I could have made because I'm not doing the drugs is I had a salad that had poppy seed on it. And you're not going to come in and take my baby. They didn't allow, they didn't take the woman baby. And she let him come in the house after two weeks after that. And I was, we were sitting there debating this last night. I mean, last week. We were sitting there debating this like, yo, mm, I ain't even let nobody come in my house. Then we was thinking like, you ain't got nothing to hide. Let them in your house. But that's still your house and you, you can't let people, I don't know, man. That's what I said. I don't know, man. But um, big shout out to her. We looking at her face and stuff like she don't really look like a druggie and all this stuff. And I was trying to bring up the fact that this is a later picture because the baby ain't a brand new baby no more. The baby walking by now, damn near. Beautiful children. I mean, child, you know. So you never know how that woman looked her first day of having that baby. She could have been cracked out. Maybe she, get, she doing better now. You know what I mean? So you never know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, man. Was she on drugs? Was she not? Did she buck the system? Did she not? Was she wrongly accused? Was she not? I don't know, man. I'm going to leave it at that. That happened last week on Earth. 
Garth Tooks. I know y'all heard about Garth Brooks, man. He both allegedly took something from somebody. Uh, a hairdresser or something, a makeup artist or something. I don't know, man, what he Garth Brooks did or did not do. I ain't never heard no allegations of him, but he ain't on my radar. I don't know his music. He don't play no movies I've seen before. I don't know nothing about Garth Brooks. I just know his name. I know he used to take his um, tapes and record over him back in the day. My mama had Garth Brooks tapes. I just take some little tissue, chew them up, piece of paper, spit them, you know, on the end of the tape. Go on there, press play. I mean, press play and um, record at the same time. Spit some whack raps. And my mom be like, hey, where my Garth Brooks tape at? I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, 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 yo. I had a little weak voice. Still do now. I ain't got the strongest voice now, but I used to record over Garth Brooks tapes. My mama had. But he allegedly took some, yo. So is he Garth Tooks? I don't know. We ain't gonna say what he took, but it's from the female anatomy. I don't know. I don't know what we can say on YouTube no more, man, but I just call him Garth Tooks. And that happened last week on Earth. Eddie Roll Biscuit. I don't know, man, if this is true or not, but somebody, um, a woman died. 90 year old woman, she passed away, and um, her um, kids is cleaning out, or grandkids or something was cleaning out her refrigerator, and I found this old biscuit inside of there. 84, 84 year old biscuit. 1940, this was, this biscuit was in there, in her refrigerator, and they had it. Um, I'm sitting there thinking like, yo, is this real? Because look at the ink on that paper. Is that not going to fade away the ink? It could be an old biscuit. I don't know. Somebody made it. But it was in the news, yo. I just had to bring it to y'all like I seen it, yo. It's an 84-year-old biscuit out here on these streets. So I think I'd probably try to take a little crumb of it if I was around. I'd be like, yo, let me get a piece of it. 84-year-old biscuit. I had to try. I had to get a piece. I had to. Happened last week on Earth. Pretty privilege. Is there such thing as pretty privilege? I believe there is. This woman right here seems to think so. She is the old woman who went on the damn airplane. When she got on the airplane, she had this um suitcase. She said that she was flagged for her suitcase and was not allowed to, you know, bring her suitcase on as a carry-on. But they let some um a hotter, younger hot girl bring hers on, she said. I, we can't see the girl. We, this is supposed to be the image of the girl down here at the bottom, but we can't tell if she hot from this. She don't look, you know, hot or not. I don't know. But either way, they had the same exact bag, and she was allowed to bring hers, and the other woman was not. She said um, she felt like she was disrespected because the other girl was hotter than her. She could just be a Karen, you know, or she could have been right. She could have been like, yo, you let this little young bitch put us on there. Don't let me put mine up here. That's crazy. You just like her. <laughs> so it might be a such thing as pretty privilege. That happened last week on Earth. 23 and what? What's going on with 23 and me? I don't know if y'all heard about this man, but everybody that 23 and me didn't step down. All the um the board, the whole chair chairman, the board, the whole board of chair people, something, the whole board, all the people, the committee. That's the word I want to use. They all said no. This woman right here I forgot her name, but she didn't went. She worked there, and I think she got new plans or something. And they don't like the new plans. So everybody from Twenty Three and Me then stepped down. I don't know why. A lot of um things is going on. People thinking like, yo, maybe they finna sell all the people information. We finna clone. So my, I did the Twenty Three and Me. Um, found out I'm nineteen percent Irish. Me, yes. Black as I am. I got twenty I mean I got nineteen percent Irish inside of me. So they might clone me, man. There might be another heist man running around um somewhere in the future, yo. So y'all ever see another me, let them know, man. Come through and holler at me, man. I'll be on this channel live every Friday night at nine PM. <laughs> me watching me. I don't know. And last but not least, dumb and dumber. That's what I call this dude. He dumb and dumber. This dude right here, he is accused of stealing an emergency vehicle because he had to go to court. And what he was going to court for? Stealing another vehicle. Dumb and dumber. Um, You got to be dumb to do that, man. First of all, you can stole somebody's car. 
before you didn't stole the car so now you got to go to court for it so instead of being late for going you said i gotta steal another car you gonna steal an emergency vehicle come on man he looked like he was part of the um meth community you can tell he don't really got no teeth you can look at his mouth he looked like he got meth mouth we were just talking about that woman look like she don't like she on drugs the costco woman this dude like he on drugs man i don't know the dude i don't know nothing about him but if you had to steal an emergency vehicles to go to court for stealing another vehicle probably on that shit man i don't know i don't know you i don't know you Anyway, those are the stories that happened last week on Earth, man. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about these same stories right here that I talked about right now. I talked about them Friday when I got a panel of people to talk about it with so I can um, get other perspectives and stuff. I I'm, I stick to my way. I'm, I got blinders on. He did it. He guilty. He guilty. He guilty. They're like, nah, maybe he not guilty. I'm like, no, he guilty. He guilty. He guilty. But... That's where we had the conversations at Friday nights, man. Right here on this channel. Every Friday night at 9 p.m., man. Come through and holler at me. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news. This has been last week on Earth. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.